Hello everybody. Frankie here, New West Reset. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to check out this old school. Uh, this, according to, the according to the narrative, one of the oldest schools in the city. Uh, it's a combination wooden structure and sandstone. Um, I can't remember the name of this or when it was built, but I think there's a plaque around the other side. This is the west facing side of the building right now, but the front is just around facing north. So uh, let's uh, have a look here and see what we can see. It's right next to a, a big park with the tennis courts and all that. Right away, I mean, the first thing that I notice actually, just kind of standing back, is it looks kind of stumpy, right? It looks kind of squat, especially considering these large rectangular windows. Very interesting sort of uh, semi-circular window above there. And again, you gotta go up a ramp or sort of an incline to get into that very short, stumpy looking little door beside that giant retrofitted picture window there. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Different kind of stone of the foundation along there underneath this course of, of stone. So you can see this is older sandstone and then underneath is newer stone, which I'm thinking is also sandstone, but it's newly quarried sandstone. Okay, he's going crazy on his horn. Your horn works, buddy. Try your lights. But yeah, funny little steps and then a, I guess, wheelchair accessible ramp here to get into this funny sawed off stumpy little door. But, uh, it's got the original little bell tower still in it there and the old chimney that's been covered in schmutz, but I think that was the old original brick chimney. Lovely little detail up there. I rarely see those anymore. I think the Sun Alta school still had its little bell tower on the top, but a lot of the other old schools, uh, they don't have them anymore. They've been removed, so that looks really cool. Lovely old roof on this thing, like wooden shingle roof. Kind of a wave detail along the roof line there. Just a beautiful old building. Yeah, you can see here. So this is that rough hewn quarried sandstone. And this is sandstone here, and then, yeah, this down here is also sandstone, but it's newer. So what they've done is they've tried to do something hanky here with this foundation. But I can see here underneath this layer, we've got sandstone sticking out here. And they've tried to line up this concrete with it, but it's, of course, pulling away and got a big crack, but I wonder Looks like that goes way down in there. It's hard to see, but I wonder if it's, you know, down further, it's more of this stone here. I'm guessing so, because the building looks so squat to me. The same sort of detail here. We've got a bigger window and a couple of narrower ones and a bigger one. That semicircular window above. That's a little detail up there again. That's wood. So I'm not really seeing evidence of lower windows, but again, with this newer fake foundation added in there, they could have easily hidden any of what would have been, you know, uh, below ground or below grade windows. And then of course they've hacked out all of these and just added larger sort of picture windows in it. This is the back side here. So this is the east facing here, or that was sort of the back side which was south-facing. This is east-facing the side of the, the old school. Air conditioning units here. Same sort of story. I'm not really seeing evidence of really low windows that have been covered up except for this difference in these sandstone blocks. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I see, I knew it. I knew it. They're not going to fool us around here, are they? There we go. So this building definitely has a basement or a lower level so I'm wondering if at one time this level which is now the basement was the main main level because this school this old school looks so stumpy and the roof line looks like it's really an extreme angle and comes down quite low compared to the rest of the school and this is the main entrance so you gotta go up four steps 
to get in there and that's kind of hanky as well again a short stumpy little door I mean I'm only 5'8 that door's maybe only six feet high so that seems really weird but there we go the Haltane school 1892 apparently and 1922 so I don't know what the significance is there between those two dates perhaps some kind of renovation or something but 1892 is the original date for this building according to the narrative that's an interesting little thing up there with some kind of little detail around it I wonder what that was at one point they've got little hooks in there to uh, tie off the the flag on the flagpole so they've kind of retroed that but I don't know what that is no idea what that is in there. See that? I don't know. There's some kind of remnant of something here. Let's see what this says. Oh, see, there's another little low. I didn't even notice that when we were looking over on this west facing side. But damn, another really low, stumpy little window. And this big sandstone block here. I don't know what this is. Obviously removed from this old school at some point and they've just put it there as I don't know some kind of decorative detail I think they'd have a plaque on it or something I think this here is a plaque or something with some information let's have a look and see what this tells us see what kind of BS they're trying to spoon feed us here with this thing nothing all right it looks like at one point there was a sign here actually on this side but nothing now so who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. But it's a, it's a pretty neat looking little old school. Really well maintained. It's not a school now. I think it's just a, maybe like a community center or something now. I'm not really sure what it's being used for anymore. But it's right next to tennis courts and this huge sort of park area. A playground. Maybe it's still used as a school or maybe a daycare or something. I don't really see any signs saying what it is. But what it currently is. But... Yeah, at one point, 1892, one of the oldest schools here in the city. So that is the Hultane School here on uh, 13th Avenue and 2nd Street Southwest. So as always, let me know what you think. Beep, boop, pop it down below. And until the next one, take care out there, and we'll see you again soon. So that's going to seal the deal for today. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.